was aggressive. I think my serve may, might have not have worked as well as I would have hoped so. But, you know, David's a good return player and when he's confident he really picks up on the other guy's serve very well. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't stay ahead um, in the second set. He right away got the, the crucial break and he served well today. You know, I was really surprised and, uh, you know, he, he's giving me some hard matches before so I knew it was going to be difficult for me. But uh, that he played that well, you know, a bit of a surprise maybe. But uh, he's had a great tournament beating the best players this week. Obviously after the first set, were you a bit surprised how he kind of came back at you? Mm, well, I mean, you've got to expect him to get a, get a second shot at you. You know, this is what happens when a set starts at zero again. Everything's possible. And uh, usually when I win a, a set 6-1 or 6-love or, you know, really dominant, you know, usually I don't give away a match, you know, but David's a, a good player. He can do so, such things. Obviously coming towards the end of the season, do you still find it, you know, the motivation is still there and you push through to the end, yeah? Well, it's a bit disappointing right now, of course, you know, you come all the way through to the final and then you lose and you leave and right away you got to play in the next tournament, which is my home tournament, so I'm excited about that, but right now I'm a bit flat, you know, <laughs> but uh, I'll, be, I'll be okay and uh, it's been a good start to the indoor season, I think I did play well this week and this is really what matters, it would have been nice to take home the title, but uh, I didn't get it, it was a bit of a pity.